What's up, Raging Nation? How's it going? This is Alex here, and you're watching the Raging Nation Show. This is Webster's. We're talking about all things matter in the world of upcoming films. In this episode, we're going to talk about Furious 8 because I'd like to follow up on what we talked about in the previous episode with a new update. Now, in the previous episode, I did mention there was a rumored list of four directors that could possibly be directing the eighth installment in the Fast and Furious franchise. Now, in no particular order, this rumored list consists of Louis Leterrier, F. Gary Gray, Adam Wingard, and also William Eubank. And out of those four directors, I was really rooting for F. Gary Gray, mainly because I enjoyed Straight Outta Compton. It was such a great film, very character-driven, and overall, I had a great time, and it was just an excellent piece of uh, storytelling. And then, of course, there's also The Italian Job, which was also an action film in the car chase genre, so he's no stranger to that type of action. And I think that if F. Gary Gray were to direct Furious 8, he would do a great job, so I was really rooting for him. Now, during the time where I was... Uh, uh, where I posted the when I posted the previous video, Vin Diesel posted an update on his Facebook account where he posted a photo of him and F. Gary Gray. Now this was to hint that he was in discussions with F. Gary Gray to talk about um, helming Furious 8. Now I'm just thinking, if you're gonna post a video like that where it's about the discussions for him to direct Furious 8, I'm pretty positive that he is going to direct Furious 8 and it's mainly because well you wouldn't want to post a photo and then tease the audience only to have them find out that he politely declined to our disappointment that would be silly why would you do that so I think that he already knew that F Gary Gray was going to direct it and he just posted this uh, 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 a bit late only to you know get the fans excited only to find out an official announcement today where F. Gary Gray did announce on his Twitter that he will be directing Fast and the Furious 8. Now this is great timing because if they announce the director now, that means he could make the April 2017 release date that they had originally anticipated. Universal Pictures originally wanted um, Fast and Furious 8 to come out in April 2017 because they have a director now, they will make that date. That is awesome. I'm really excited about it. I just recently saw uh, Furious 7 again. I saw it in theaters and I was watching for the second time on Blu-ray. And after watching it a second time, I actually liked it even more. When I originally reviewed Furious 7, I said that out of these three films, Fast 5, Fast 6, and Furious 7, I thought Furious 7 was the weakest because it didn't... Um, um, it, it was pretty much the same sort of thing, the same sort of formula. But after watching it again on Blu-ray, I actually enjoyed it even more. I don't know what it was, but I really enjoyed it. Uh, even more so, think, making it me think that it's even better than the previous two. Because, you know, as you watch more these films over and over again, your opinions change about them. And my opinion changed, and uh, it went from it being a decent film to a really great piece of entertainment. So... I love the, the Furious 7, so I'm really looking forward to Furious 8. And if you look at uh, F. Gary Gray's credits, he's actually a really solid director. I mean, after all, he's got he's got straight out of Compton under his belt. There's also uh, The Negotiator, which was a great film star starring Samuel Jackson. And of course, there was The Italian Job. And also, um, a film that I think is kind of underrated, Set It Off. Okay, I, I saw Set It Off. I really, really liked it. It was a very... Um, um, it was a, a good mix of, of characters and action. It was a heist movie, and it was, it was really well-paced, and uh, there was some really great performances in, in, in that film. Um, now, there are other films in there, like uh, A Man Apart, um, where Vin Diesel's in it, and it's a revenge drama. It didn't do too well, all right? And um, it's his... Uh, it's it's uh, their, their first time working together, uh, Vin Diesel and F. Gary Gray, but every director's got to have a flop, okay? And it just so happened to be the one that Vin Diesel was in. Uh, Be Cool, the, the sequel to Get Shorty, I didn't care about it, didn't watch it, uh, but I did watch Law Abiding Citizen, and that was a kind of a mixed bag for me. I liked it, but it kind of fell apart at the end of the movie, but I really liked the concept of it. So at the end of the day, I really think that F. Gary Gray is the perfect choice to direct Furious 8, and I'll think, I think that he will bring it into to the right direction. I mean, I think it's already in the right direction, and I think that he will bring it, continue bringing it in that right direction. So, super excited about this, and uh, 
F. Gary Gray is directing Furious 8 and he will be, uh, um, he will be directing Furious 8 for the release date of April 14th, 2017. That's less than two years from now. They're going to start working on it pretty soon and it will be filming in New York and hopefully the gang will all be back. Anyways, that's all I got to say in this video. I'm just really excited. I wanted to express my excitement about a great director working on what could be a really, really great sequel. All right. So there you have it. That's all I got to say in this video. Uh, why don't you let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like me on Facebook, The Rage Nation. Also follow me on Twitter at Rage Nation. My name is Oxy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace. So, and what I also love about this film is the supporting characters. For example, Charlotte Le Bon, Ben Kingsley, James Badge Dale, Clem